Hello and thanks for watching this short video. I'm going to show you how to integrate Square to your QuickBooks Online file. Now the access point I found is if you go to the question mark for help and just type in Square and search for that. It'll give you some options. Click on QuickBooks Online and Square. And then here's a click here to log into uh, Square and connect your Square to your QuickBooks Online file. So I just click here. It's going to open up a browser window and redirect me. And it'll redirect me to you know, a QuickBooks payments option. Connect your Square account to QuickBooks. Go ahead and click on connect. And then of course, it brings you to the squareup.com page where you're going to go ahead and put in your user ID and password. Okay, once you sign in with your user ID and password for Square, and it can be different from the, you know, the master admin of the QuickBooks online file as well. Uh, request permission into QuickBooks is requesting permission to do the following. And it's going to read uh, the Square Merchant profile info, deposit history, my bank uh, account summary info, and read my payment history. And you're going to allow or not. Obviously, you're going to want to allow it, so click on allow. And it'll spin for a while as it continues to integrate your mobile payment Square option with the QuickBooks Online file. And once you're connected, it'll tell you as such. And then you can select and import transactions and view any new sales receipts. Now let's import some transactions. And you're going to do it from the transactions sales window. So you click transactions on the left in the left hand panel, sales. And then you'll notice a tab here once Square is connected to the QuickBooks Online file, it says import transactions. You just click the drop down and Square, or you click import transactions and Square and it'll go ahead and log us into Square and show the actual transactions available for importing. You just go ahead and check it off and then click Import Transactions. Now it's going to bring you back to the Sales Transactions window uh, filtered for that particular uh, sales receipt. So there's my sales receipt from, that I brought in from Square. You guys saw it. Paid $10. And we can go ahead and open it up and notice uh, if there's no customer that you see, you know, from the Square transactions, a lot of time I would put it in the memo. It's very similar to Go Payment, you know, where the trick is to put in the customer name in the memo field so that you can actually choose the appropriate customer. But then you would actually come into the sales receipt, choose the appropriate customer. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it's deposited to Square Funds. You could change the account. And, and then as well, it was used with the Square uh, card. Make sure that you're, just like if you're using Go Payment, uh, if there's no customer there, a lot of times there are not. Uh, use the memo field or whatever Square would use that would be comparable to what we do with Go Payment. Uh, and then just go ahead and you know save the transaction. But it's going to show up in your QuickBooks Online file on the sales transaction window. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.